Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel Dobby Scrapping. I'm here to bring you a, another layout. Uh, this one I am doing for Pour Your Way Into Our Heart Hop in conjunction with Kristen from Scrapping on the Flies Leftovers to Layouts. So what I have here, all these squares, I used some of these in a different layout and I had so many left over I thought, hey, let's get them used. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do... A layout with these squares. So what I want to do first is I'll just take these to the side. So I want to do a little bit of blending underneath. Definitely no ink splatters after last night. That was enough of a mess to last me a lifetime. I've just got some ground espresso. And I'm just going to go around in a circular motion. Nothing special or spectacular. I just want to make it a little bit more smoky marbled or just to add just that little bit more interest to our background. So it's not just stark creamy yellow cardboard. I'm just going to do that. back on with these. I've just got the two patterns that I'm using. So the heart, the wood grain. I'm sort of just going, well you can see what I'm doing. Bit of a pattern there. And then I'm just going to put part of it over here but stagger them so that the red, uh, the green comes on a bit more than the. And of course, I will line them up roughly with along here. So we want to go about there. So there's going to be a lot of people playing along with this hop or both these hops. And I will have them links down below in the description box, which I'll tell you at the end. Um, but this was, I, all I did today was I walked up into my room. I thought, I've got to do something for Pour Your Way Into My Heart. I grabbed the photo and I thought, you know what, let's just go through what's on my desk because I really need to tidy up. And that's what I did. I found these squares on my desk and I thought, hey, let's use them. Let's just use them. Um, I do remember seeing, I don't know if it was Lisa's sketch or not. I don't know if Lisa did something very similar to this um, in one of her sketches for Scrapper Sketch. I know I saw something like it somewhere, but do you think I could find it? No. So I'm just going with my own little you know, layout here, my own little imagination and thinking, hey, I hope this looks good. So that's what we're doing. So Lisa Brown has just toned that. It wasn't a bright lemon, but it was bright enough. I was no, I'm not lining them. I'm just eyeballing it. I just want to show you guys that if you go through your desk, you find some scraps. Even if, even if you go through your scraps and cut up some squares, these are only two by twos. You can stick them on a layer and they still look good. Like, just stick them in the old how. I mean, you can fill your whole sheet up with squares and it will just look amazing. Pop your photo over the top. I just thought I'd go with being different yet again. And just trying this. I might do one... Um, Another time with it all, all over, just with two different patterns. As you can see, some of these squares probably aren't quite the size they should be, but it's 
what we're going with. I um, did a um, layout because I'm doing this in advance, but the layout that I did the other night, I needed to do some red splatters on it. And I literally spilt liquid ink all over the layout. Just lucky I had the photos covered to a degree that it didn't wreck the photos as well. So. But I kind of. I felt a bit down because I thought, fancy doing that on a video, like for everyone to see, because I'm not an editing person. I, I think that. I'm just one of those people that take me as I am and if I do something wrong then you learn not to do it. <laughs> you learn not to do the same mistake that I just did. Um, and just to prove that everyone is human and things do happen. It's not just all edited out. Something goes wrong. And this way if people want to play along while you're scrapping on the video they they certainly can um, I know some people do like that so I've got my daughter's got a friend here at the moment and so there may be a bit of noise in the background so hopefully that's not too bad now I think I can Let's just get a roller. Not going to be perfect, but I'll go there like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to go. Oh, oopsies. Don't, don't, don't. I'm going to come up a bit. I think they're listening to music and trying to do dance routines. Oh, whoops. Now yeah, well, I'm going off track. What I'm trying to do. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Turn it round and put some tape there. So that it sticks to the edge. Hopefully I'm not off frame. else use their scraps or go you know clean when they clean their desk up think hey let's just stick that on a layout with whatever's left it's not even going to be a companion page or anything it's just something completely different for a completely different photo <laughs> and as you'll see I mix and match I don't I'm not a person who uh, I'm not a you have to stick to one collection for anything I'm a bit of a mix and match kind of person 
Okay, let's turn them off the side. Now, we've got... Oh, I haven't stuck them down either. Right, so I've found a bit of... Um, it's out of a pet, was out of a pet supply six by six page or paper pad. And I thought, hey, let's just turn it over and use that side. As you can see, I've got a square out, so I'm going to hide that a little. Hopefully. Well, that's a picture of. Picture of my husband and our German Shepherd dog when she was alive. I'm gonna stick that about here. I had I found another bit of pet paper that this was on the um, edge of it and it had my best friend. And well, that they certainly were. That. I'm gonna put my photo down first. Oh, I go like that. Put this out. I've got tag thing here I wanted to use. Right. I wanted that here. Down in here. Maybe I'll go like that. I don't mind how that sits. It's a matter of moving things around. I was hell bent that it was going to go over here like that, but I actually don't like it, to tell you the truth. I think I'm quite happy with how that is. If I go, go about that, and then I pop that because that's my title, my best friend. Well, let's just line it up with that. This is all off cut um, pieces of paper or scraps of paper that I'm using. Uh, that was a scrap bit of card that I found. So I'm going to go there like that for the title. I really was desperate to use that. Um, I wanted to pop this one down here like so. That sticker. Sticker sheet used. Got some other little bits and pieces now. I had three other little things. I think I've got love to cuddle. member of the family. Yeah, let's go like that. So I don't want that as a tag, I just want it as an embellishment. Love to cuddle. couple of little German Shepherd dogs. So I'm going to pop that one there like so. Member of the family, I am going to stick that up on foam. Where is that foam? Beautiful. Look at that. I hand cut these out of another piece of paper. This bit and this bit. Go like that. Member of the family. I have this little doggy bread, and I really wanted to use it, so I'm going to stick it down here near the fire hydrant. If I can get it to work. Close it to 
get it to go through. Right. Hang on, where's my scissors? So if I go about there with my brads, have to excuse how. Mr. Brad, I need you to work by not coming back open, going through. Do you think it's listening to me while I'm talking to it and begging it in this really thin cardboard cardstock background? Yeah, so let's stick some. I always like to put a bit of washi tape over them holds it into place and then doesn't kind of come through onto your page. That's my little doggy charm. Um, I was going to put another little one here. Stick it on the actual tag. Number one top dog. She was the top dog. Okay, so I've got a couple of others out and I'll leave them till the next one. I'll move all that over. And I've just got some really smoky brown um, rhinestones I'm going to use. So I know that's a blank hole. I just, I don't mind. I don't know if I've got... I've got a big, I if that one will work, Dimenti, I wonder if that Dimenti will stay there, hopefully it will, alright I'm going to go here like so, Each corner of my title. So this is our dog Shebe. So we had to have a put down the year my daughter was born. Um, she got old and she just started doing some things that really hurting herself. And um, when I rang my husband at work, he said, "No, you need to ring the vets. First sign of a shepherd." not well and um, we're gonna have to have it put down so it was a very upsetting time but uh, Shiba was actually Darren's second German Shepherd and um, she was absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous I think everyone loved her um, but she was too kind-hearted dog and wasn't um, very you know obedient enough for um, show training, um, she wanted to have fun, not not be so serious. So um, yeah, so but she was brilliant, brilliant dog. Um, yes, yeah, so that is my page for pour your way into our hearts. Um, I've got quite a few of my. Uh, we had a dog and a cat and quite a few I haven't actually scrapbooked of them so that's why I'm doing this to to get through them and I think you know when you lose a pet it's really hard and I just stopped scrapbooking them I just couldn't bring myself to do it but now I I really thoroughly enjoy doing it um, because they were gorgeous pets okay everyone so that is me done. I'm not doing splatters, especially after the last night, <coughs> um, which when you see this video will be a week later. Um, and this is what I've come up with. 
with all my scraps off my desk um, apart from the doggy embellishments I found them so um, yeah so thank you everyone for watching um, if you like the look of this um, layout press pause take a screenshot and have a go I don't mind in the least you might like to do a whole page or a um, different way of doing it or turning it that way or turning it that way um, it would look good any which way you put it um, for the life of me I can't think where I saw something like this anyway this is what I've come up with today so if you if at the same time if you do like what I've done if you could give me a thumbs up that'd be great if you're new to my channel please I hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing um, I, I do a lot of different things I'm I don't seem to stick to the same thing all the time. Um, if I do a sketch, I sometimes normally all the time go rogue and change it to what you know to fit my photos and things like that. So, um, so please consider subscri subscribing. Um, I love how my channel is growing. Um, thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I'm absolutely grateful. I've only got four more subscribers to go till I reach 500. And that was actually my goal for the whole of the year. So <laughs> I'm going to be reaching that early, I think. Um, so thank you, everyone. I really appreciated it. And I appreciate you all watching and supporting me. Um, at the same time, with saying all that, I will have everyone that is playing along with Pour Your Way Into Your Heart, Into a Hearts Hop, and the Leftovers to Layout Hop people all down below in the description box. Please go and show them some love. There's some absolutely wonderful ideas out there that people are doing for things, um, especially with leftovers and especially pages for your pets. Um, might not even be a pet. It might just be, I, I know we've got a kookaburra that comes around. Um, we've saved him twice out of our pool because he gets all wet and gets too heavy and can't get out. So we've saved him twice or every now and then he'll come and tap on my kitchen window and get my attention so that we can you know take notice of him and I've got some photos of him that I'll be scrapbooking as well so it might just be any animal that you consider oh what do you say a friend so um, yeah so show everyone some love if if you're not subscribed to them already subscribe to them it doesn't cost to, cost to subscribe like or comment to either them or myself it helps our channels grow and it shows that people are actually watching and appreciate and actually like what we're doing and they're maybe getting an idea of thinking hmm I could do something like that and always remember there is no right or wrong in scrapbooking it's just what you like and what suits your photos and you think looks good on your page so with saying that I'm going and I'm not going to talk anymore and I'll see you all in the next one Bye for now.